In the dark, Jeremy Robinson weaves a thrilling tale of survival, horror, and mystery set amidst an apocalyptic event. The novel begins with our protagonist, Faye Moana, a former teacher who has survived an unexplained global blackout that has left the world shrouded in darkness and society in ruins. As with all communication and electric power grids failing, Faye has taken refuge in her idyllic Hawaiian home. She is not entirely alone. Companionship comes in the form of her dog Sam and a resourceful neighbor, Hoku, who resides with his grandfather, Koa. The darkness itself is not a mere absence of light. It's a palpable entity that feels alive and hostile, altering animals into grotesque, malevolent versions of their former selves, leaving them with a sole purpose, to kill. These creatures, referred to as shades, become the deadliest threat in this new world, where the only rule is to survive another day. Faye's journey begins with a strange message that she intercepts on a functioning emergency radio, hidden amidst the static, a voice imploring listeners to reach Readout, a mysterious location in Idaho that promises safety and electricity. Driven by the faint hope of sanctuary and the urgent need to reach her sister Beth, who she hopes is waiting for her there, Faye decides to leave her Hawaiian safe haven. With sturdy determination, Faye, Hoku, his grandfather Koa, and Sam embark on an epic journey across the ocean. They encounter both the perils of the sea and the threats of the darkened world, facing everything from mutated sea creatures to bizarre, otherworldly phenomena that defy explanation. Their trip is fraught with challenges, leading to the loss of Koa and almost ending in disaster as they are attacked by a colossal shade. Miraculously, they arrive on the mainland, only to discover that the continental U.S. is far worse than they could have imagined. Society has degenerated, with remnants of humanity banding into factions, some of which have resorted to cannibalism. Yet amidst the darkness, there is a glimmer of light. A sole individual broadcasting hope, known as the Broadcaster, becomes a beacon of guidance for Faye and her friends. Their travels are a relentless fight for survival, pushing them into the very depths of human resilience. They confront increasingly bizarre and dangerous shades, beasts that are both physical and ethereal in nature. As they travel, the group expands with new members, Captain Slade and his group of survivors who possess a working military vehicle equipped to handle the darkened environment. With their help, Faye pushes on towards Readout. However, while navigating the treacherous terrain, it becomes evident that Faye herself is not ordinary. She discovers a dormant power within her, a kind of light that can repel the darkness and protect those around her. This revelation amplifies the importance of her reach towards redoubt, as Faye might be central to ending the darkness itself. Gradually, Faye and her companions unravel hints and clues that suggest the blackout may not be a natural disaster, but rather the result of a human-made catastrophe. They encounter the changed, people who, like Faye, have gained supernatural abilities as a result of the blackout. These individuals vary greatly, with some being benevolent, while others are wicked and power-hungry. As tensions rise and the group dynamics become strained under the heavy burden of survival, the novel takes a darker turn, thrusting Faye and her companions into the midst of a horrific struggle that forces Faye to confront the true nature of the darkness. It's revealed that the source of the blackout and the transformation of the world lie in an otherworldly artifact known as the Source that, when activated by a shadowy group, led to the global catastrophe. The enigmatic broadcaster is unveiled to be an ally, an individual named Cain, who also possesses abilities like Fae and has been attempting to gather the changed for a greater purpose. Cain, along with Fae and others like them, believe they can reverse the darkness by shutting down the source. He provides guidance to Faye, urging her to reach Readout, as her power is critical in their plan to save the world. As Faye comes to terms with her new role in this fight against the darkness, the group endures fierce battles with human and non-human adversaries alike. Betrayals and sacrifices are made, further imbuing the story with heart-wrenching moments that highlight the fragility of hope in a world consumed by shadow. Ultimately, Faye's group reaches Redoubt in Idaho, which is not just a safe haven, but a stronghold for those preparing to confront the Source. Inside, they find respite, an organized community, and the seeds of a resistance against the darkness. 
It is there that F.A. is finally reunited with her sister Beth, and they share an emotional reunion. As the narrative reaches its climax, Faye and the Resistance engage in a final battle against the forces safeguarding the Source. Throughout this confrontation, Faye's abilities grow stronger, and she becomes a symbol of light and hope against the overwhelming darkness. With great courage and sacrifice, Faye and her allies manage to defeat the Guardians of the Source, enabling them to deactivate the artifact and dispel the darkness. With the deactivation of the Source, the world is instantly illuminated. This new dawn brings with it a promise of rebirth and renewal as sunlight returns to bathe the earth, driving away the once all-consuming darkness. People around the globe emerge from their hiding places, blinking in the sheer novelty of daylight. The novel concludes with Faye and her surviving allies celebrating their victory, with humanity now standing on the brink of a new era. The blackout has been lifted, and the survivors are left to rebuild their lives in a world forever changed. However, despite the joy, there is an undeniable undercurrent of wariness. The world has been irrevocably altered by the dark event, and Faye and the others know that the future will be filled with challenges as they endeavor to heal and reclaim the earth from the horrors they've endured. The Dark is a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the enduring quest for light amidst the profoundest of darkness. Jeremy Robinson delivers a harrowing adventure that pushes his characters to the limits, blending elements of the supernatural, dystopian survival, and cosmic horror to create a unique and enthralling narrative. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.